Hey guys, and welcome to the Envy Wildman channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a super secret deer attractant, a homemade recipe. I call it the stump liquor. Literally, we're going to make this stuff, we're going to put it out late spring, early summer. We're going to use a rotten, dead stump, and the deer are actually going to eat the stump right down to the ground. I know it sounds weird. Deer don't usually eat rotten trees. They eat you know, leaves and buds and twigs and grass, etc. But trust me, if you use this recipe and you soak a stump with this special formula, deer will eat the stump. They will tear at it. I've done it year after year. Uh, stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm going to show you a couple of different setups, a couple of different places where I've used this. And you take a look at the stump and it is, it is torn apart. It is chewed down. Um, depending on the stump that you use, sometimes it might take them a year or two to actually destroy the stump. Sometimes it takes just, uh, just a matter of one year and they will literally chew the, the rotten wood and eat it. And it's super good for the deer. Um, it's very healthy and it also works as a great attractant as well as mineral supplement. So stay tuned and I'm about to show you the recipe of how to make this, how to store it and how to use it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you uh, like the video. And if you don't like the video, give me a thumbs up anyway because uh, that helps my YouTube ratings. So, here is the secret, secret uh, stump liquor ingredients that I use. Uh, I've used this at several different places and I absolutely love it. The deer will gobble it up. Um, I store it in two liter pop bottles and that's why I started out with a couple of two liter pop bottles and I just fill these up with lukewarm water. Not hot water, uh, you just want regular room temperature lukewarm water is fine. And this recipe that I'm going to do right now makes two bottles, two two liter bottles, so four liters of this stump liquor uh, product. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add two cups of just regular salt. Now again, I use, um, I like to use this salt from Canadian Tire, it's called hunting salt. It doesn't matter what you use, you can use road salt, it'll work just the same. Um, the reason I do use this, again, like I said in another video, is because it does have a bit of an apple flavor, and I think that initially attracting deer to your spot, that little bit of flavor might help, but anyway. So, it's two cups of salt, I don't care if you use the salt out of the cupboard, or road salt, or whatever, uh, just salt. And then, what you want to do is you want to add one cup of Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda. And this is basically sodium carbonate, but uh, one cup of this, make sure it's a nice good full cup of the washing soda, dump that in your mix, make sure you have a full cup there, that's good. Okay, uh, so those two ingredients. So all you have in there is two cups of salt and one cup of the Arm & Hammer washing detergent. You're going to then add your four liters of water to this mixture. Okay. So you've got your four liters of room temperature, basically water in this mixture, and we're going to give it a little stir. A lot of the salt has already dissolved into the mixture by this point, and so is the laundry detergent. Uh, so now comes the super secret ingredient, which isn't really a super secret. If you're searching this on YouTube, you've probably seen some other people use this, uh, but I'm the only one that, in this area that I know of, they use it as a stump liquor type product. So, uh, next up, you guessed it, Jello. So, you can use whatever flavor Jello that you want to use. I've had good success with cherry and I've had good success with lime. Um, they seem to be the most popular as far as what the deer like to munch on and lick and chew at the stump. I've tried strawberry, they didn't love it. Um, and I've tried the mixed berry one. It smelled really good, but I didn't have anywhere near the results that I've had with the lime and the cherry. Um, I typically just make the cherry, uh, just because it's easy, because you can buy it all the same and whatever, but... Um, you, this is a four-serving one. It's not the super big thing of Jell-O, it's just the regular size Jell-O. And you're going to use the entire package, okay? So, get rid of that. 
And basically now, all you're going to do is dump this entire package of cherry jello into your mixture. Okay? And you're going to stir that up. So at this point, you'll never guess what it smells like. Cherry jello. There's still a little bit of salt in the bottom here that hasn't yet um, hasn't yet soaked in or hasn't yet been absorbed into the liquid, but it will. Um, depending on how coarse the salt you use, it sometimes takes a little longer. If you were to use a, two cups of table salt where it's already broken up small, uh, this would already be saturated in the liquid, but I use some pretty coarse salt. And if you use road salt, it'll take it'll take this long as well, but it's almost it's almost um, it's almost all absorbed into the mixture. Okay. Um, what the reason we do this and the reason we use jello uh, in our mixture isn't for smell and it isn't because jello has anything super duper deer attracting in it. It's because it forms a, it's a form of gelatin. So what's going to happen here is that we're going to get this as soon as all the salt uh, mixes in with the liquid. We're going to pour this back in the two in the two two liter bottles, and then we're going to keep this until about mid May. Uh, we're going to go out and we're going to pour this. Both I use both of them because I like to, especially if I'm starting a spot, I like to use a lot of this to refresh a spot. I only use one bottle; you don't have to use both. Uh, but if I'm going to start a spot, I'm going to find a nice, good dead stump, uh, something that's been you know started to rot a little bit, and something that's a little bit softer. And you're going to dump both bottles of this all over the stump. You're going to saturate it into the stump. And once you put it back in the two liter bottle and seal it, the, the jello won't react. It won't actually become a gelatin. Uh, it may start to thicken up just a little bit, but it won't, it won't form into a jello that we, well, it's like when we say jello. Now, when you take this, when you open this and you dump it all over the stump, over the course of the next couple, three hours, uh, exposed to the air, it will actually form its gelatin and it will actually become a thicker, kind of a denser liquid. Um, and it'll be all over that stump and it will be down in that stump because when you put it on it's, it's a liquid form and then it starts to gel and so it traps it in the stump. Deer will come along and they will smell a combination of the gel and the salt and they will absolutely go nuts. They will chew at the stump, they will lick at the stump, they will eat the bark. Um, so this is a great, great deer attractant. Not so much of a mineral lick. Don't let anybody tell you that this is, you know, minerals to help animal growth because that's bull. This is just going to put deer at your spot. Uh, you want to get deer in front of a trail camera? This is the way to go. Uh, one of the ways to go, I guess. Keep in mind that all of my deer spots, I always use them in conjunction with one of those 12 pound either Jurassic rocks or uh, trophy rocks. And if you don't know what they look like, go ahead and check out my other video on my, uh, on my deer product rant about how most of that stuff doesn't work. But uh, there's a good picture of the Jurassic rock that I use. Uh, I use one of those at every spot, so that will also help to bring the deer and kind of focus them on a central area. Deer will literally eat the stump, they'll eat the wood, right, right, down, to, right down to the dirt. So right now I'm going to show you a picture, and you can see this deer standing over the stump. Uh, he's, got a, he's got his tongue out because he's, he's just gets, got done eating, I would assume, some of that stump. But uh, if you look at the stump, when I started, that was a full, regular, stump with bark on the outside and the full sides. And you take a look at it now, it's eaten down the sides, the ground is eaten up, the roots are exposed, uh, the stump, the little, there was a little stump beside it, it's almost completely gone now. And so you've got, that's only from one year. That is, that is a new spot that I established. So, so that's, by this time next year, uh, if I re-put re the stump liquor on that stump, that stump will be almost gone by then. So it's a great attractant for the deer and you can, you can hunt over it and it will keep deer coming back. So all you do, again, stir this up and as soon as you, all the salt has dissolved into the liquid, you just basically take your funnel, pop it in your two liter jug and pour it back into your two liter jug. Seal it, you two liters of good quality stump liquor attractant, put it up on the shelf, uh, pick yourself a good deer spot and soak a stump in it hang a camera, and wait, and you will get pictures of deer, I guarantee it. So, I just wanted to show you, um, I've left this out of the bottle for a couple hours, 
And I just want to show you what it's going to look like after you put it on the stump. And what I mean by it forms like a, a gelatin, like the jello takes place. So when you look at this, you can stir this up and pull it out of here. This is a, it's almost like a gooey slime that your kid would make up. My son would love this. Um, so what happens is you pour it on the stump and then it stays out in the auction for a couple hours. And all of what you soak down into the stump becomes this goo. Um, and it's, it's, it's in the stump and the deer will literally tear the stump apart to get at this, uh, to get at this gelled type stuff. So, um, you're going to want to get it into your two your pot bottles before that starts to take place. And that's one of the reasons that we want to use lukewarm water and not hot water because hot water tends to speed up this process some, uh, of it being all kind of jelly. So as soon as you get the salt mixed in all the way diluted into the solution, get it back in your two liter bottles. Otherwise you're gonna have this kind of goo stuff if you wait uh, and put it back in. But I did just wanna show you, this is what you want in the stump. You don't want this in your bottle. Although I don't think it's gonna hurt if you put it in the bottle, but um, this is the type of thing that you actually want the deer to try to get from the stump. So if you haven't uh, subscribed to the Wild Bay channel, go ahead and, and subscribe, hit that like button if you like this video. If you don't like this video and you think it's stupid, hit that like button anyway, because it's really good for my YouTube ratings. Anyway, that's all for now, folks. Uh, stay tuned for my next videos, and uh, that's it. Happy hunting, and be wild man out.